basically all these points but to being video just distracts me. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> there's there's a there's a kind of a there's there's almost a risk of another issue. It's, it's not with the word gay but with the word homosexual. And actually it's a similar issue I've seen uh, with people using the word female to talk about women. Mm. It kind of makes it clinical, it makes it like a detached thing. It's an issue, so I'll see people in the same kind of context. They'll talk about straight people, and they'll talk about homosexuals. And the ho there's the whole thing about uh, you can say you can say the word gay and uh, not have the intent to offend someone. You could say it to uh, a friend as a like almost as if shut up. Yeah. And yet, though there's no intent there. If other people, if third parties hear it and takes offence, although it's not intentional, it still causes offence. It still has the potential to cause offence. Very exciting project to be starting on, um, not least because I really enjoy working with your director, but um, working with you guys as an ensemble as well. And it's my favourite kind of writing is to create something with a group that's matched to their abilities. So it, it's got pros and cons. Some of the cons are. When I give you a line in the song today, it may not match your range particularly well, and it's something that I then have to go away. Maybe either today in the room, I'll figure something out that does work, or maybe even go away and rewrite something. So it's a little bit organic, and it can be a little bit stop-start, but by the time you get to the end, hopefully what happens is we've got a product that we can all be very proud of, and we all feel we've got a stake in. That we've and we'll do a warm-up, okay? So let's just get ourselves nice and centered, feeling like you're being slightly just pulled up by an invisible thread. You know all this stuff, don't you, you guys? You do physicals all the time. And keeping that posture really upright, good. Slightly dropping the chin. It's nice because you're musical people, it's a nice chord already. 
And another one a little bit higher up in your range, a bit longer deep breath, and... Keep it going, try and feel your lips vibrating, lips touching. runs out and you one begins a little higher and your range you just fall off it right down to the bottom so one two three lovely and try if you can to keep your physicality the same so don't fall into that good and now into a siren so we go the other way we go upwards this time so one two three Same noise, but just with the mouth open. <laughs> setting of this yeah. song, we're at the beginning, and it's sort of setting the gay world. Um, so yeah, there's a there's a scope here. These first bits are they're not on the recording, obviously, um, and they are. It's just a bit of um, improvisation, you know, and that stuff that obviously has nothing to do with you. So when it, uh, if you go to C1 Sun, that's where the recording is going to start. But then hopefully by the end, sure. like you said yeah. at the start, the, the audience is actually thinking, what a bunch of idiots. Yeah. They're just doing what everyone tells them to. And it's gentle context, isn't it? At the beginning, it's not too tight. It's the stuff we talked about language, people using the term gay earlier, but they don't necessarily mean it in a homophobic way. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. We've got to have somewhere to go in the narrative. Three, two, three. Don't know how to rolls. That's just how it goes. It's a gay world, sisters, a gay world, bros. It's a gay From the top, one, two, three. One, two, 